Okay, I'm pretty proud of finding this one. This one was not easy. So, this big pine right here. Well, first, over by the truck there, I saw a little post sticking up. And I saw some wood laying on the ground. And there's some barbed wire laying in here. But over by that tree, there's a really old bed frame. And I'm like, no, there's got to be. So i just been sweeping this field, looking, looking, looking. I found another little post right over here and then just hidden there it is there's the cellar hole right there see it crazy i haven't found the actual house site yet but boom i got the cellar hole anyways i've been just hitting a lot of tin cans and so i knew i was on to something but i got my first high tone Right here by the cellar hole. Bell buckle. Man. Yeah, I went into the day thinking, man, I have nowhere to dig. It's amazing how many of these there are. And, you know, you just drive right by them. Old lid. Yeah, we're definitely on the site. This is awesome. That's an old cup. Boy, that thing's seen better days. Are you guys seeing this? Now that is a beautiful pocket watch. Uh, frame. Awesome, man. That's crazy. I just found the other piece. It was plain. And I didn't show it to you, but... Wow. That's a nice one. Well, I guess I'm assuming it's part to a pocket watch. Man, that is fancy. I sure wish that was complete. That is so cool. Got me an old spoon. Awesome. Get in the sun, maybe we can look at it a little better. It's got a little fancy on there. Definitely plated. I don't know what I got here. I got something fancy. That looks like a piece of jewelry. It's awesome. Jeez, I wonder what that's made out of. Beautiful. Just wanted to get you guys a little video of the uh, bed frame that made me stop and really give this guy a give this place a hard look man glad i found you all this stuff is clues guys that looks like i just got my uh first kind of either garter clip or suspender clip awesome man it is so crazy these are so hard to find just sitting here having a sandwich and i'm just like i can't see it from here this is crazy, but it's right, right in, in there. But you really can't see it unless you walk right up on it. You can see maybe the barbed wire up there, or the fencing, that's right where it is. Man, you just have to be like, anything that looks out of place, even just a piece of fence, you better go check it out. Well, the only sucky thing about Doing this after work as I spent so much time finding the site. I'll have to leave soon, but don't worry. I'll be back tomorrow after work, and uh, I think I'm bringing Dinwiddie. I think he's going to come. But, man, we're getting on to some stuff. This is a big area, so I can't even, you know, I need some help anyways. Ah, this is too much fun. Whoever wants to leave. Another one. And let me clean this up. Well, it has a patent number, but I just can't seem to make it out. I don't know. It's either 1800 or 1900. It does have some fancy on the front. I think that's uh, French. Yeah. Is that the Fleur de whatever's? <laughs> uh, I actually had a French lighter I found earlier, so. 
Maybe these guys were French. How about a live dig to end the evening? Uh, that would be so awesome for something cool. Jinxed all the time by the live dig though. And 25. What do you think it's going to be? See something around? What do we got? <laughs> Washer. Come on! I don't know, top to syrup or sugar or something? Sure. Looks like I got another spoon. No way. Is it? Oh, I think this is my first one ever. I don't think I've ever got a sterling spoon. Look at that thing shine up. I did it. No way. Oh, it's so cool. All right. Let me finish this sucker. Well, that is a heartbreaker. That's actually plated. Can you believe how good a shape that's in for being plated? You can see if you look really close, there's kind of some wrinkles in the plating right there. And then this edge. But it says 14. It's got like a fancy globe with some... Uh, silverware and it says like 1857 and 1800 or something so i don't know just like a world fair spoon or something i have got a world fair spoon before but it was a lot fancier than this still that thing's gorgeous all right we'll end it on that see you tomorrow okay i'm back with dinwiddie but the thing is <laughs> I bet we've been here 45 minutes and haven't found anything even worth breaking the camera out for. But I think I got a little button. Let me uh, clean this sucker up. Well, it kind of looks more like a snap. It says genuine scotch knit. No clue. I don't know what I got here yet. Oh, I think that's just a big old uh, piece to a clock. That's what that is. All right, I got another button. What does this say? It says dense make. Well, that's actually more of a snap too. Well, I got some sort of winder here. I don't know if that's to like a lamp or it's threaded. Maybe it's a clock winder. Maybe it goes to that clock that I just found. Yeah, it's kind of pretty. That's a back, I think, but I don't, it's not for this one. It's got some kind of fancy around it there. Awesome, man. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. This button says rip proof, rip proof overalls. Now we're starting to get into some hardware. Bink Detroit. I don't know what the heck that is. It's got some kind of hook on it. Big gear. Got another piece of gear off of it. Looks like some kind of gardening tool. That looks, I don't know, that actually. That looks like an old, uh, well, maybe not. Weird. Yeah. And I got this, this one here, it looks nice. This is the back of it. Oh! 
They don't have that style. That's my second one. Alright. All right, I'm back to this same site with Gunner. Dinwiddie's not here. And I got another one of these. Now, somebody said this is a scale. No, I was thinking it was temperature or something, but... Yeah, that's what they're saying. That's a scale. I don't know. What do you guys think? So I got a couple of, like, three plain buttons I didn't show you. That looks kind of neat. That... I don't know, I'm thinking that's a clock arm. What do you guys think? I think I might have another piece of silverware. Yep. Nice. I just can't really pinpoint this house. I'm not sure what's going on here. This whole entire field is just, I mean, it's just as far as you can go, it's just littered with trash. There's like 10 cans that have disintegrated, and you can hardly go anywhere without a chirp. So it's kind of hard digging in here. Just have to really listen for those repeatable sounds. <clears throat> I mean, I hate to say it, but this field's proven I don't dig everything. <laughs> There's no way in here. It's impossible. Well, maybe I'm zoning in on it. There's another spoon. And another spoon. Alright, I'm gonna roll. Yeah, just keep plugging away. I mean, I found those spoons in three completely different locations on this field. It just kind of makes me wonder if, like, they just camped all over this field or something for years and years and years because it seems like when there's a house site you know things are a little neater like you can kind of tell what's going on like this is next to the house and this is next to the barn or maybe there's a bunch of little cabins through here but I'm not finding any foundations at all how about a live dig it's got to be a great big buckle or something that just sounds so sweet. Seems a little big to be a coin. Already got it out. It's nice. Easy stuff. It's left handed stuff. Oh yeah, there you go. Another brass buckle. Yeah, I'm so far from the cellar hole now. It's crazy. They were everywhere in here. Oh, well, I just found some more bed frame. And this is... Now let me show you. The first bread, bed frame was clear over by that tree. And the cellar hole is like way up in there. I just don't know why this is so spread out. It's crazy. So this spin I got cleaned up and it's pretty fancy. It's got like a little eagle up here. And then there's some like, I don't know, I guess Latin. The only word I can really read is, well, I think I can read. It's like, ya plata or something. And there's like a shovel and a pick and a plow. And it says Montana. So I think it's like a really old Montana state spoon or something. Pretty neat. Let me see if I can find that online. 